When traffic slows or becomes congested, you'll most likely be moving faster than it, needing to filter through and overtake, and then, once the traffic starts moving freely again, reintegrate into the flow. How should you do this safely? You could, of course, simply join the queue of traffic and wait patiently behind. However, by doing this, you aren't taking advantage of one of the best reasons to commute by bike. The best way to filter is often dependent on the traffic situation and what is up ahead. Filtering on the left is what a lot of cyclists tend to do, but it can be hazardous. Most drivers, although they will regularly check their driver's side mirror, are far less likely to look in the passenger's side mirror. Also, if traffic is stationary, passengers can often make a sudden decision to leave the vehicle, opening a door into your path. You should never filter up the left-hand side of long vehicles, such as buses or lorries. Long vehicles have many blind spots, so will often not see you riding down the left-hand side. And if they turn, you have nowhere to go. Also, no matter how tempting it might be, do not ride up onto the pavement in order to dodge traffic. Filtering between lanes can be useful in traffic. There is little likelihood of car doors opening and you'll be more visible. However, it does present some hazards. Drivers don't always drive in straight lines and the space between lanes can narrow quite quickly. When riding between lanes, you need to be consistently aware of drivers who decide to change lanes, often without indicating or using the mirrors. Filtering on the outside is often the preferred option, as long as the road centre lines are dashed and not continuous. The normal rules of overtaking apply. It presents similar hazards as filtering between lanes, in that you may encounter drivers deciding to pull out and overtake without warning. You'll also have to deal with oncoming traffic, but whereas a driver has more space to overtake, you can negotiate with oncoming drivers and occupy the other side of the road in a contraflow situation whilst overtaking. This needs constant reading of the road ahead and a high level of anticipation and concentration. Once the traffic starts moving again, you'll need to rejoin the flow. If you are filtering on the left, this is easy as you just need to move into your default riding position and allow the traffic to overtake as usual. However, you should be prepared to take control of the lane if the road narrows and you don't wish to be overtaken. If you are filtering between lanes or on the outside, you should ride positively and anticipate gaps ahead that you can move into as the traffic concertine is out. Speed up whilst looking two, three, four or more vehicles ahead and choosing a suitable gap to slot into. The secret is to ride confidently, making eye contact with drivers around you so that your intention is clear to everyone. Practiced a few times, this manoeuvre can be carried out smoothly, without other vehicles having to change speed, allowing you to commute smart and move from lane to lane in agreement with the rest of the traffic.